All right, this is part two. Yeah, the manager starts yelling at me for all the stupidest things. I mean, I told you, you're supposed to put the dishes over here. I'm like, yeah, okay, relax. I mean, I'm giving you one final warning. I'm like, like really, you're, you're, you're just jealous. You don't want me dating this chick. That's why you threatened me with my job. You don't want me dating this chick. That's why you threatened me with my job, obviously. Well, I didn't do anything wrong. Yes, I made one smaller error, but if you're going to fire me for that, come on, man. I work hard for you. Yo, I mean, work, yeah, I work hard for you. I don't slack off when I work. I work really hard for you. Why are you threatening me with my job? What did I do wrong? Every employee makes minor errors. We're all human beings. So I'm saying, yeah. So I'm saying, yeah, man. Does the owner slack off? Yeah, the owner slacks off sometimes too, but he's the owner. I can understand. If he slacks off, he can slack off if he wants. He fucking owns the place. I can understand if he slacks off, obviously. But like, like, you know, behind the oven, behind the oven is probably filled with fries and dirt and all that stuff. Because when I mop, I always catch fries coming out from the bottom of, 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 of the floor, from the, from the floor. Obviously, which means the employees don't, don't I have to move the oven and sweep that area. Because there's a bunch of fries that are on the floor under the, the, the oven, the, the stove, the oven and all that stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They slack off too. That they got to pass. Ivan does one minor, minor error. He, he gets around with his job. So I'm saying it's crazy, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, so I got to get another, I, I'm going to get another down this week. Hopefully, obviously. But, but I'm not letting anybody know. I'm keeping it between me and her. I'm not letting my set family know because they're crazy people. I'm not letting... Um, I hope her, her, her family... She doesn't tell her family or her friends. Don't tell your family. Don't tell your friends. And the Cocoa Room employees can't know. Well, let's say she doesn't close on Friday. Let's say she doesn't close on Friday and she doesn't come out when I eat my lunch. If I work Sunday and she doesn't close, I have no choice but to ask for a number in front of all those guys. I, I, you know what, man? I, I'll, I'll ask for a number in front of all these guys if I have no choice. But I'm scared of how, how they're, they're going to become demonized people. They're going to become crazy people. Man. I don't want to even date this shit. Yeah, they're going to become crazy people. So I'm saying, huh? How crazy are I even? Um, the waitress can threaten you with the redhead with death. They can hit her too. The manager and all the kitchen staff, they can they can break plates and break glasses because they're crazy people. They're rest like they You see them, they smash things, they break glasses, they break plates. Because we call them they're crazy people. That's why they can't know, man. They're a mess I made, yeah, man. I told you, even though the drama with VJ is crazy, it's not on the same level as me with me. It's something crazy. As the real drama with this whole game is Ivan Omer. VJ is just a part of that crazy drama because she's my hot-ass wife. Hard ass God's wife. But the real real drama is with Ivan America. Because why? I don't hate Victoria Justice. Because why? It's crazy with me, man. It's fucking crazy, Sam Sarah. It's crazy the drama with me and with me. And VJ too, right? Yeah. Sam Sarah? It's crazy. It's crazy drama. It's crazy drama, Sam Sarah. It's crazy drama. Obviously. Hence why what? Hence why what? Hence why, uh... Um, the employees can't know. Because I'm scared if they know, the manager might become so demonized, he might even fire me. No, I think you're done. You get, you're done... Find us another job. I'm like, what? 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 What did I do wrong? You, you, you don't listen, Ivan. I'm like, uh, what? You left a little bit of water here. You, 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 you didn't wipe it with your with your squeegee, Ivan. The sink is not. You didn't. You, you forgot to to, to 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 clean this little area here, Ivan. You know, I'm saying when 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 those line cooks what they slack off too. They don't clean all the areas. You know what I'm saying? They get passes when Ivan does that. He threatened with his job. It's crazy, man. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, yeah, he threatened me with my job towards the end of my shift when I when I changed, when I finished mopping the restaurant, he threatened me with my job. I mean, if this happens again next week, you're you're done, buddy. Find find yourself another job. I'm like, okay. You can tell he felt a bit like shit. 
he took the glass, he smashed it down. Because he knew, yeah, Ivan, Ivan said this. He's, he's a hard fucking worker. I'm just an asshole. Yeah, I'm just being an asshole. I don't want to date this shit. Yes, that's why he threatened me with my job. I told you, that's why they can't know when I do this shit. They can't know what I'm saying. They can't know, yeah. The man's probably worried, oh my god, Ivan, you better get my number now. Yeah, I'll get you, I'll do my best to get your number now this week. Just in case something, some bullshit happens and he ends up firing me, like, he ends up firing me, what, like, two weeks from now or something like that. He won't. I'll, as long as I work hard, I don't make a bunch of errors, I won't be fired. I'm a, I, I work hard for my hard worker. What's there? Obviously. Yeah. After this, I'm going to work on the lawn. Or I can work on it tomorrow. I'll be done the lawn, like, this. the end of this week, I'll be done. The right side. It took me, like, a month to finish all of it. I just slacked off from then. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah, I don't want Ivan Dane this fucking shit, because Ivan's the son of God. He's from the heavens. I don't want to date this chick, yeah. When he dates her, on top of the world like Edward did with, with Bella when he pulled into the school. Oh my god, you got that song, he's walking with her, yeah, something crazy like that. And the way Bella fell, what, fell for Edward, think something like that for uh, for Ivan and the redhead. It's gonna fall for me, man. So Sarah. Ivan, do you think that man is with her? I don't know, but I think he is. I think he likes her, man. Was he, because I remember he told me, he's Ivan, like, you fall in love? Why you happen? You fall in love, Ivan? I'm like, no. Yo, Ivan, if you fall, he told me, it's Ivan, if you fall in love, I, I no longer have anything in my life, Ivan. He told me that. I'm like, is he giving me a hint that he's seeing her behind the scenes? I don't know. Maybe he is. They might have flamed, but chances are she might not be that interested in him. But she's out of his league, obviously, right? The manager's not an ugly guy. He's a pretty good looking guy, but he's not me. He's not, like, super handsome like me, since I I saw him with the street clothes. He's, he's not bad looking. He's a pretty looking guy. But he's not me. That's my point. And the redhead's out of his league, obviously. The redhead's like an 8, 8.8 .8 out of 10. He's like a 6. She's out of his league, obviously. So, Sarah? Yeah, if Ivan goes for this chick, she's going to lose interest in me. And, and she's going she's gonna to fall for Ivan. Yes, he knows he's going to fall for me, obviously. Yes. He's going to fall, obviously. He's gonna fall. He's gonna fall, Sarah. Yeah. Really, I mean, yeah. Think of the way uh, Bella felt for Edward in Twilight. It was something like that for. Uh... It was something like that for what? For 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 me in the red, it's gonna fall for me. Yeah. Um, see. Why do you think do you know she'll fall? Of course she's gonna fall for me. I'm fucking why. Of course she's gonna fall for me. Duh. I'm fucking why, man. It's not a guy. She'll fall for me. Obviously, I'm special, man. Yeah. Um, see. So this week I, I'm gonna get a number down. Hopefully she works. She works tomorrow. I'll get a number down tomorrow, if she closes. Obviously. Yeah. If there's one guy there, I'll still get. It's not that bad. You still get a number down. It's not that bad. But like what? Um, I prefer to do it in private. Let's say tomorrow she works and she she closes. Obviously. 
chances are the, the, the manager might not make I mean, you, you're, you're mopping the kitchen. He's mopping the dining area. He doesn't want to get it up and down. He's crazy. <laughs> he's a crazy guy. I mean, Ivan, you mop the kitchen. He mops the dining area. He knows if I mop the, the dining area, I that's an opportunity for me to get an order. He doesn't want me to get an order. I was like, I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I, I, before I mop, I see her sweep in the area. I take my phone. I walk towards the, uh, I walk towards her and I get her number right away. I man up and I make my move and I get her number down. I'm like, fuck this. I haven't stopped being square. I'm done with the bull. I'm done with the bullshit. Get this chick's number down. I go and I get her number down right away. Hey, you want to go out to dinner sometime with me? I just next Friday, 7.30 at St. Hubert's Sound. She's like, uh, what? Yeah, dinner with me next Friday, 7.30 at St. Hubert's. She's like, uh, uh okay, sure. Oh, okay, you're here. You want your number? I get her number down. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Hopefully she closes Friday if she works Friday. If not, hopefully whenever I whenever I eat my food, she comes outside, she has to smoke, I'll get her number down right away. Right away, I'm going to ask her number down right away. That way I can go on that day with her. Obviously. And that way nobody knows. We keep it between ourselves, obviously. All right, won't you tell her you want to work? No, she won't. She'll keep it to herself. She's not stupid. She knows how crazy the world is. Yeah, the world is evil to I and VJ. We have to, uh, they can't know. The employees can't know. Yes, they can't know. You have to keep it between me and you because I'm that special. I'm sorry. Huh? Me and the rat have to date in secret if we want this 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 this, this thing to, to work, obviously. I'm sorry. Huh? I promise, guys, I'm going to go back to talking about Zanus. It's just, I have a bit of Zane's fatigue because I've been talking about it for a year plus, right? Peter Jackson, Mel Gibson, the Hollywood actors, like John Boyega, Von Jones, and all them. I'll talk about Zane's eventually, but for now on, I want to talk about the girlfriend topics. I mean, your girlfriend topics are sick. Yeah, they're sick, obviously. I'm sorry. They're sick, obviously. Yeah, tomorrow I work at 9, and then Friday I work at 9. I think he's giving me Saturday off, or he might maybe work Saturday and Sunday. It might be really busy. Um, I just hope the redhead closes, because that's my opportunity to get an number down when nobody, when nobody will know. Or, when I go on break and I eat my lunch, I recommend, I'm talking to you, I recommend you come out, outside, bois de rock, quand je mange mon dîner, et, um, et je vais prendre ton numéro de, ton numéro de téléphone. So come outside when I'm while I'm eating my dinner, while I'm eating my lunch, and I'll, I'll get your number down. So I'm saying, huh? You understand? Yeah, I understand. Yeah, she speaks French, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I go on out. So you would say it's the best date of my life. <laughs> First date ever in 31 years. Crazy, huh? Yeah. I'm going to rub it in VJ's face. VJ pisses me off, obviously. She'll finally feel it. She knows how it feels. Yeah, yeah. Even though I'm pissed off, I even shut me up for good. Like, I had all these makeout sessions and I had my boyfriends and all that stuff. Give Ivan a break. Let him enjoy his own with his first girlfriend. Yeah, give me a break. But you, because you guys are crazy psychologists, you're not going to give me a break. 
I told you, if you're, if you're jealous and you're angry and you're mad, that's your problem. I don't care. Like, I came down as a human being. I deserve to have these moments too. It's not just about you guys having your moments with your boyfriends and husbands and wives. But I even can't have that because, 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 because yeah, because you're crazy fucking people. You're messed up. I made them. You have no control of who I yag at or the fuck I want, guys. If you're angry and mad, tough. It's too bad. Yeah, man. Zara? The rest are, oh my god, Ivan's interested in me. He wants to go on a date. Yeah, I want to go on a date with you, obviously. But, like, uh, but yeah. But worst comes to worst, man. I'm going to... If if bullshit happens this week and, and uh, she doesn't close Saturday or Sunday, I have no choice but to go out there in front of everyone and ask her on that date in front of everyone. I have no choice. But if she rejects me, it'll be embarrassing, obviously. And they're going to know. And watch how they're going to act. They're going to become crazy people. I don't want them knowing. Whereby the waitress is going to threaten her, you fucking bitch. Then you can have that man all to yourself. Yeah, man. They're crazy people. They're messed up. I made them. People, the waitresses can break glasses and break plates. The line guys can swear at me, you fucking bitch. I'll fucking kill you, Ivan. Yeah. They could what? They could, uh... Some guy might tell me, suck my dick, man. Yeah, because they're, they're crazy. They want me to this shit. Some of the line guys... My what? Might smash things on the ground because they're becoming demons or crazy people, obviously. They don't want to this shit, yeah, man. Some Sarah? They don't want to this shit, yeah. They don't want me to this shit. Sarah? They don't want me to this shit, yeah. That's why what? You have to, uh, keep it sly, keep it private. So that's how special I am. So Ivan, you got me and Red are dating in private, obviously. When I mean private, what I mean is nobody knows that we're dating except for us. So even though people downtown Elmer C is hanging out, they won't know we're dating, but they're going to be curious how they're dating. The only way they're going to know we're dating is if I make out with her and hold her hand, which I'm probably not going to do when I hang out with her in public. Because that can, that can get the, the, the adult woman and adult men, adult men very crazy and jealousy and demonized. That's why, yeah, it's not a good idea for me to hold your hand in public, by the way. People can get very, very jealous about that. They're crazy people. I right, who gives a fuck about those people, man? And she holds my hand, but look, man... If you hold my hand when I hang you down to the armor, watch how crazy these people are gonna be. They're gonna be crazy people. Because <laughs> they're messing with me. They, they don't like the they don't want me touching one woman. They're crazy people, obviously. So I'm saying, if it's nighttime at eleven, you can hold her hand and kiss her and make out. There's barely anyone out. But if it's like during the day when everyone's downtown, everyone's downtown Elmer, they're, they're awake and all that stuff. It's not a good idea. 
obviously. Is the marina packed? The marina's packed sometimes, obviously. But th there's not that much people that hang out the marina, right? Chances are if I go to the marina, there might maybe be maybe 20 people at the beach. That's not that bad. Me and her sit up on that high, high, high rise chair. We look at the sunset. I talk to her. I, I, I go for the kiss. And I make out with her. And then at the beach, obviously. But there it's not that bad because not there's not much people in the Alma Marina in the Alma Marina, right? There's not many many people in the Alma Marina. Some Sarah. Yeah. Are you gonna rub it? Yeah, I'm gonna rub it in BJ's face. BJ pisses me off. Yeah. I'm gonna rub it in my wife's face. Fuck that. What do you do to my husband, you bitch? I'll fucking kill you. I hate that bitch. Yeah, he's just crazy, obviously. She doesn't want what? She doesn't want me touching, uh... Touching, uh... Touching that woman, obviously. When she lets men touch her every week. Fucking hypocrite. Yeah, man. Fucking hypocrite. Yeah, man. Obviously. Fucking hypocrite. Yeah. Fucking hypocrites. Victoria Justices. That's why I like working weekends because I know as long as I work with that uh with that other dishwasher, I don't have to worry about the manager yelling at me. Because because because, because he's washing dishes, I take the dishes out. All I have to do is just take the dishes out. He washes the dishes, obviously. I'm sorry. Sarah? Yeah, I was just saying, yeah. Sarah? So now when I got to be extra careful when I work, I have been, don't forget to do anything. I remember everything I have to do, obviously, most of it. Whenever I, I don't have much to do, I'll clean the walls. Every time I'm going to constantly look under the, the, the dish pit, the area, if it's clean, clean the walls. That way, the manager doesn't give me shit and he doesn't, he doesn't threaten me with my job, Sarah. Because I know, like, the, the, the manager, the manager knows I'm a hard fucking working. He told me you're my hardest working employee. He told me that, man. Yo, know, Ivan, you're my hardest working employee, but like, you you don't listen, you forget this, you forget that, but man, when you work, you, you're my hardest working employee. Yes, I told you I work really hard. You're my hardest working employee, Ivan. Yeah, I am. I don't slack off. When I, whenever I mop the dining area, I mop everything. I, I clean under all the chairs. Whereas the other guys, I know how whenever they mop, they mop everything so quick because they skip all these, all these areas. They don't mop this area, they don't mop that area. They get away with that. If I did that, I'd be fired, and then they get away with it. Double standards, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, Ivan, it's because it's not because you're a bad employee, Ivan. You're a fucking amazing employee. You're a fucking amazing employee. You work really hard. It's just you piss me off. I don't want you dating this man. Yeah, that's why he's doing my job. Because he's crazy, obviously. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's a crazy guy. Obviously.
I'm saying. Why is Red hot? Yes, she's a hot chick. She's almost as hot as Vijay, I told you. If VJ took a pitch next to her, VJ would look hotter, obviously. But it'd be close. Red's hot. She's a hot chick. So, like, those Hollywood men, like, Pearson Foday is almost as attractive as me. If he took a pitch next to me, it'd be close, obviously. But at the end of the day, he looks normal compared to me. He's not as attractive. You don't hate me, Pearson. He's not as attractive as me, so I'm saying. But he's, he's a very attractive man. He's, I don't know, 9 out of 10. 8.8, 8.7 out of 10. He's an attractive guy. He's even better looking now than he was when he dated uh, uh, VJ. Because now he bulked up. He's big. He's more buff now. He has his beard. He grew his beard. He's a good looking man, uh, Pearson Foday. But at the end of the day, he's not me. He's not as good looking as me, so I'm saying. And him and VJ were fucking a good couple. They were good together. I felt like shit. Holy shit! Look at VJ dating that handsome fucking man. Yeah, I rub it in VJ's face. I date this hot ass redhead, and I rub it in VJ's face. Yeah, I and his redhead make a good couple too. Yes, and the redhead's like eight years younger than me. She's probably like twenty three years old, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four years old. So I'm like nine, eight years old. And just like Reeve was like eight, nine years older than VJ. Reeve was like thirty three, I think, when he dated VJ, and VJ was only like twenty, like four back then. 23 back then? Yeah, Reeve was like 10 years old in VJ when he did. Now Reeve Carter, I think, is like 39, 40 years old now. He's about 39 or 40 years old now. He's like 10 years old in VJ, yeah. The, the redhead I'm dating is about like 9 years, 8 years younger than me. Probably 22, 23. She, 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 that's around the age she is. 22, 23, around 24. I'm 31, so I'm like 7, 8, 9 years old in there. So Sarah? So I'm quite a bit older than her, but I mean, she's of age. She's not a minor. She's 22, 23 years old. A 30 years old can date a 23 year old woman. Because she's an adult now, but she's, she's an adult now. So I'm saying, huh? Yeah. All right, well, maybe you want to go for this red. What made you want to go for this red is when I saw that picture. Of VJ holding Evan Berger's hand. I'm like, what the f Like, VJ, man. After I make that difference between me and yours, like, you go ahead and date another man. Like, really? Where is your conscience? Yeah, I mean, you're never going to know, so I might as well date this guy. Because he took me for granted. I was like, you know what, man? A week later, I got the job. I was like, oh, I'm like this chick's hot. I'm going to go for her, too. The Robin and VJ speaks. VJ pisses me off. Yeah. The way she made out with that Adam Demos guy in, in the kiss, in, in, um, not kissing booth. In a uh, in, in, uh, uh, perfect pairing. Uh, in the bed, in the end of the movie, I'm like, are you, f she made out with him hardcore. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? You're going to make out with a guy that hardcore when you, know, when you have a husband? If I did that to you, how would you feel if I made out with a girl hardcore in a fucking movie and you saw that? How would you feel? Like, oh, you'd crush me, Ivan. Yeah. And you make out with Adam Demos hardcore. Like, you don't even care. And chances are she banged him behind the scenes too while they were filming the movie. She's crazy. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go for this rat dude. They're rubbing in VJ's face. Yeah, because VJ pisses me off. Yeah, man. I told you, remember that scene, season 9, The End of Friends, when Joey was dating Charlie, the black chick, obviously. Ross liked her. He ends up making out with her behind Joey's back after Joey said no to Rachel because Ross is my supposed best friend, obviously. I don't hate me, you know what I'm saying? And Ross ends up making out with, with Charlie, obviously. And Joey, he, he looked. He has that look. He turns around. You know what? I want to make out with Rachel, too. <laughs> to rub in Ross's face, he ends up making out with, with uh, Wyatt. With what? With, with 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 Rachel, yeah. The rubbing in Ross's face. That's that's the same. That's the way that that that's a similar example of Ivan O'Meara with Victoria Justice. I saw. Have Victoria Justice not? I had not s seen that picture of her dating Evan Berger. I never would have walked for the redhead. I would have kept my distance and stayed a virgin until I paid the fee. Then once I saw that picture of her holding his hand, I followed him and I'm like, you know what, man? I want to know what's gonna happen with too. I'm dating this red. I don't even know what else can do about it. Some sire. If you're angry, VJ, tough. You can freak out all you want. You're a fucking hypocrite. I'm gonna ignore you because you're a crazy woman. Some sire. You can get mad when you want. How could you be Ivan? Yeah, you too. You fucking too. It goes both ways. It's not just about me making you happy, man. She's just crazy, man. Yeah, man. Like what kind? Like Victoria Justice. I, I'm not kidding around. The chick has like some sort of like. Messed up illness. Yes, I'm fucked up in the head. Yes, I know I'm fucked up in the head. I have a mental illness. Obviously, Victoria Justice has a bit of an illness too. She's a crazy woman, man. Like, 
after your fucked up mess happened and you date all these boyfriends, you're going to make a big fuss of me dating one girl? You think it's the unpartable thing? Because you're crazy, man. You cheat on me every week and you, you have the audacity to make that freak to freak out song. You never listen, Ivan. <laughs> I'm like, wait. You're, you're willing to tell your husband that he doesn't listen when he's the one who stayed pure for 31 years. He's the one who never touched a woman. He's the one who never made out of the woman. He's the one who stayed pure even after he found out about the mess. He's the one who's listening. You're the one who's not listening. You keep banging him every week behind his back. You go ahead and date Evan Berger. Like, you know what I'm saying? And you have the audacity and, and the balls to say, I never listen. Are you fucking kidding me? Because she's crazy, man. Tell me what I get opposite of... Keep me in the dark. Are you even thinking about me? Someone else about me. I don't know. I don't know. I scream your name and oh, yeah, you can say it all you want. It's kind of hard to, 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 to what? To take you seriously when you keep fucking him every week. And you go ahead and date Evan Berger. So I'm saying... Whereas even though Ivan O'Meara ignores her just when she cries, she's fucking annoying us. She's cheating whore, obviously. He listens. He doesn't go out around fucking a bunch of women. He stays loyal and faithful. Whereas Victoria Justice can't do that because she's crazy, obviously. She's a crazy woman. Yo, I, mean, I can easily stay faithful, but like I don't want to, man. I love I love hanging out with these men. They're fucking hot. I love fucking them, Ivan. You'll never know. I'm going to take you for granted because she's crazy, obviously. She's a crazy woman. Yeah. So how does it feel, VJ? How the fuck does it feel? Well, I don't know. I date this redhead and I go on first date with her. And I had my first male session at the beach. How does it feel, VJ? It hurts, Ivan. Yeah, it hurts. How does it feel? It's not a good feeling, yeah. It hurts, doesn't it? Yeah. VJ, are you fucking kidding me? I even went on a beach date with that redhead. Ivan, are you, are you fucking kidding me? You went on a beach with that red and you sat down on the beach. You enjoyed the sunset and you made out with her, Ivan. Yeah, oh my god, that's my dream, yeah. We I mean, already had those moments with those men in Hollywood. Obviously, but she she dreams of that moment with me. Hanging out on the beach. And we over, we over we overlook the, uh, the, the, the what? The sunset, obviously. And we make out, too. I'm going to have those moments with VJ, too. I have that moment with the redhead. I make out with her on the beach. Yeah, man. Rub it in VJ's face, but VJ will not know, right? Because because she, 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 unless she posts pictures of me here at the beach, which she might do, she might take a picture. Hey, I'm with Ivan at the beach. She takes a picture. She posts on social media. I tune in. The whole world tunes into that. Look at Ivan hanging out here at the beach, and I and I, I have my first makeout session ever in 31 years. 31 years, guys. Ivan O'Meara gets his first makeout session. Sad story, young I Evan. Mean, and all hell breaks loose for Ivan O'Meara. If you're angry, I don't give a shit. Tough. And Victoria Justice is, becomes a crazy jealousy woman, and what? And she goes, she deserves all. She's trying to have 